Hello Aries and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. So Aries, I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. However though, for today's reading, I will be doing a reading, a reading dedicated to what is your person hiding from you. So this reading is more tailored for people that are separated or in a relationship where there's a bit of stress, there's, a, there's anxiety because you feel like your person is says one thing and then does the other thing. So Let's find out what is, is your person hiding, hiding? What is it that you need to know, Aries? So thank you so much, Aries, for joining me. Let's get started. I will be using today the Tarot of Owls and the Spellcaster's Tarot. If you do wish to purchase your own deck, that's down below in the description box. If you also want to learn how to master Tarot and you want to learn the spreads and what the cards mean, we do have a Master Tarot course. Just visit fifigigitarot.com. There is a course there that's just for you. And we promise you will be a master at tarot. And it is self-paced. Okay, let's begin. Let's have a look at the current situation. So we do have the Three of Cups. This is a beautiful card. This is the card of get-together, celebrations. I can definitely see that it's been good. Definitely. Definitely has been good at the moment. But let's have a look at your energy, Aries. Three of Cups, don't forget the... You may have met this person face-to-face -face at a celebration. You may have been invited to a birthday engagement, christening, wedding, some sort of celebration here. But if we look at your energy, Aries, we do have the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands. So this person obviously proposed to you in the sense, let's go out. I want to get to know you, Aries, because this is the second fastest moving night. We know that this is the night of a call to action. This is the night of, for example, someone that sees you. It's all about taking action on the things that you're very passionate about. So offers, transitions, changes, but also a call to action. So let's have a look at your person. So I will say, though, that Aries, you are definitely someone that takes action. You don't hold back. If you see something that is fantastic, you go for it, definitely. You may actually have approached your person, I'm going to say. Your person, yeah, Eight of Wands, definitely. So again, I think it was kind of mutual to contact each other because this is all about messages coming your way, but very, very fast. This is the minor arcana of the chariot here. So we do have messages, also a night that could have led to face-to-face -face communication here. Overall, this is good energy. I see both of you may be fire signs, a Sagittarius, Aries, yep even Leo perhaps, but your person may also, maybe a foreigner or may, may be living from another state perhaps, uh, not from your area, no, 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 this person was definitely from a different state, maybe a different country and you've met him, I feel like he's met at a gathering, some sort of function perhaps, but what is the block and what is the challenge, please? Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. We do have the Eight of Swords. Feeling trapped, imprisoned, self-confined, unable to move, unable to set yourself free. Now, this is definitely a mental card, Aries. This is, you're feeling trapped, though. You're feeling that your own being self-imprisoned here. Interesting. We need to get some clarification cards for this one. This is also giving you a heads up, though, Aries, that this is a mental card. Gemini energy, meant very mental card. So you're kind of like a little bit in your head at the moment, thinking about the worst case scenario, thinking, you know, that there is something going on here. If we look at the beating heart of this reading, mm, yeah, so we do have the devil now, Capricorn energy. So this does have quite a few significant meanings. Now, 
this could be our shadow self, Aries. Our shadow self can be obsessive thinking. This could be something that's going on. But you could also be dealing with someone of toxic energy, someone that's manipulative, narcissistic also, and kind of like playing you like a puppet with the strings. So there is a bit of toxic energy. Absolutely, definitely. It is the beating part of this reading now. That's what's concerning about the devil here. It could be a reason why you're a little bit in your head because it could be a bit of manipulation going on. What are they hiding? Mm. So we do have the Ace of Wands. Now the Ace of Wands, we know that this is the start of something, but they could be hiding something that you do not know of. Um, usually the Ace of Wands is something of passion, like something that that's the, the beginning of something passionate. Now, again, they could have met someone, yes. Because remember, Ace of Wands, passion, taking action, because they feel passionate towards something. So, yeah, they definitely are hiding something here. Something in its infancy, as you can see, the baby owl here. Something that's just begun, that it is causing you to feeling a little bit trapped, a little bit imprisoned, because this person may be acting out of character. Let's look at your hopes, fears. We do have the Knight of Cups here. Knight of Cups. So yes, there is there is still love for this person. You still have feelings for this person. You still are hoping that this person is going to come around. This person is going to show you. Now, two Knights here. Knight of Cups. This person can be perhaps a water sign. Perhaps. Um, but if we look at now the near future. What's going to happen in the near future? Mm. So this is the card of rejection. The five of pentacles. As you can see, the owls left out in the cold. This person, hmm. Wow. This person is a real, is a real piece of work, I'm going to say. But this person, I would not be surprised if this person completely at, um, out of character in the sense I'll say to you, I love you. But then the next day, They'll block you, they'll ghost you, you know, they'll be missing in action. And yeah, unfortunately, this is the card of rejection. Notice it's just above the devil, someone that's been manipulating you, someone that's been pulling the strings here, controlling the situation. Now, though, even though we do have another knight here, I feel like there's someone else coming your way. Remember, the Knight of Cups is the most romantic knight. It's the most romantic knight. And I don't feel, yeah. Let's have a look. What's going to be the outcome? We do have the lovers. Lovers. This is beautiful. I feel, though, Aries, even though this person may reject you, there's someone else coming here that's going to take your breath away, I'm going to say. This person is going to really show you what it's like to treat someone good, what it's like to really be with someone and just have their back. If anything, this person, I feel like, acting a little bit childish and it's to the point that you're blaming yourself. You're saying, this is my fault. Was this my fault? What did I do? You didn't do anything, Aries. Don't fall for this person's BS. Because I can't help to notice as the devil here, the card of manipulation is the card of temptation also. You know, we're feeding our shadow self, obsessing about a situation. Is this going to work out? I don't feel it's going to work out because you also have the five of pentacle, the card of rejection here. But just because a door closes doesn't mean, oh, but well, that's it. No. You also have the lovers. The lovers is a major arcana. I feel that there is someone else better out there for you, Aries. But let's have a look. Let's get some confirmation cards, please. The devil is also represented by air. No, sorry. It's earth energy. So I'm talking about Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo.
Okay, what does Aries need to know, please? Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel because every week you get two readings, one from myself and the other one from Fifi. Thank you so much for supporting our channel, Fifi, and I love and appreciate all of you from the bottom of our hearts. The Three of Cups. Yeah. So we do have the Ace of Swords. You're going to have mental clarity very soon, Aries. You're going to have that clear mind. Look at the difference between the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Like you're going to have that mental clarity in the sense that you know what you're going to, you know what, you know what you want, and you're not going to let anything stop you. You're, you're going to have that strong mindset. In the sense, what am I doing? Why am I imprisoning myself? There's a big difference between the Eight and the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, again, you're going to have that new cycle, a new beginning, also breaking through anything that is standing in your way. If we look at the Knight of Wands, so your energy, excellent. We also have the Chariot. Wouldn't be surprised if you travel, go on an adventure. It doesn't necessarily have to be overseas. It can be interstate. You do, it's it's a very big travel card. So yes, travel may be on the horizon for you. You may consider going on adventure, trying something new, doing something for yourself. If we look at your person, the eight of wands, the emperor. So your person may be of an Aries energy also, like you. And again, even though the emperor is all the kings wrapped up in one, they are structured and disciplined. So your person may be a business owner. Your person may be kind of like a workaholic I'm picking up. Like they're always busy. They're always trying to work, 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 work. And I feel like perhaps their career may be their obsession. I feel like their career is like, their career comes first before you. That's <laughs> what I'm picking up, Aries. The Eight of Swords, the block, the challenge. Yeah. So we also have the Page of Wands. Messages are coming your way. As you can see, a little birdie whispered in my ear. So definitely messages are coming your way. Definitely. So what do we have? We do have the Lovers. So this has come out twice. So even though you're going to get out of your head with this, even though you may be feeling trapped and imprisoned with the Eight of Swords, there's definitely love messages coming your way. Definitely. I feel like there could be someone else coming into your life. If we look at the devil, why is the devil there? So we do have the Hierophant, Horus Energy. So this is the card of traditional. This person doesn't skip steps. This person is very traditional. And this is the card of commitment also. This is the card of also being a wise counsellor. Sometimes when this does show up to Aries, it's good to also seek a wise counsellor, someone to help you through your issues. If you are experiencing anything like depression, anxiety, um, anything that may be causing you quite a lot of mental anguish here because I feel like there's an imbalance here at the moment with the devil. There's an imbalance and, yeah, I feel like some of you are just not sleeping really well at night. I'm going to take out another card. Oh, God. So, yeah, so we do have the Three of Swords. This is Heartbreak. Yeah, not surprised that I'm seeing this, though. There could, could have been an issue with commitment also. Because notice that the Hierophant, like I, like I said before, the key word, commitment. But you also have the Three of Swords. So Three of Swords shows up when there is a third party intrusion. Now, not always does it have to be cheating. It can be, like I said before, this person is committed to their career. So they might put their career before you. And you're just feeling that I don't have a say in this. I can't do anything about it. I, I, there's nothing I can do. I don't have any control. But what are they hiding, though, with the Ace of Wands? Okay. Yeah, Two of Cups. Two of Cups can be... Now, this can be commitment issues. It can also mean that they're hiding a secret lover. Also, 
unfortunately, because remember the Ace of Wands was it's when someone takes action with something that they're very passionate about. And I feel like there could be hiding a secret romance because also the Two of Cups is the card of true love. If we look at the Knight of Cups, so your fears and your hopes, don't worry, Aries, you've got the Strength card. You're going to have the strength to overcome literally anything. That's what you're going to do. You're going to be taming any negative emotions. Of course, if you do need to cry, if you need to get angry, yes, do it. Don't keep it all bottled up, no. But at the same time, it's like you're putting yourself first. It's like, okay, you're doing that behind my back. That's fine. I will take flight and do my own thing, which is good. So overall, your, what you suspect, you may be correct. Though, Aries, you kind of like saw it coming, but at the same time, it's not like a huge shock to you. If anything, it's like with the strength card, you're putting yourself first. You're starting to take care of your health, your mental health. You're putting yourself as a priority now. Yourself, you, Aries, you're the priority now here. With the five of pentacles, yeah. So we do have the four of wands, yeah. I do feel your person, yeah, doesn't have the best interest at heart. With the Four of Wands. So I feel like this person, yeah, they try to end things face to face. I feel like this person with the Four of Wands, because remember, the Four of Wands is the kind of celebrations. So what I will say though, despite the rejection, despite everything, what this person does, you're still going to find happiness with the Four of Wands. You're, you're still going to go ahead. You're going to find that happiness. You're going to really yourself first at the same time you may be married to this person also it may cause a bit of trouble yes but the outcome though the lovers i do feel that there is someone else here for you someone better for you let's get some confirmation cards wow okay aries we've got the magician gemini and virgo energy this is the card of manifestation. You have the power to manifest anything. You can do anything. With the little resources that you have, you can do anything. So you're definitely going to get out of your head. Like the Eight of Swords, yeah, you're going to get out of that. You're really going to start creating your own power here. Doing the things that you want to do. Doing the things that you love to do. Your hobbies, your explorations. Anything you want to do, you will do it, Aries. We also have the... Eight of Pentacles here. Excellent. Also have the Eight of Pentacles. So Aries, you're also, it's like you're going to build something for yourself. And you see this person building a little hut? You're really going to take charge of your life. Maybe even learn a skill. Upgrade your skills and perhaps even open a business, start a new job perhaps. As you're really going to set your priorities straight. It's like you're planning now. But you, you do have a skill here. I do feel that there may be a career opportunity where you're getting paid really well with what you do. What's happening here, though, overall, because sometimes when I do see the emperor and the devil, this person could come across as a bit nar narcissistic, so a little bit controlling, manipulative, uh, belittling you also in front of others, or belittling you about every little minor detail with what you're wearing, what you're doing. It's just ridiculous, I'm going to say. That's not even realistic. Be, um, realistic. If anything, I feel like this person is like, they're in a bit of a dream. Like they, they expect perfection. They expect so much when that's not reality. Life isn't perfect. Not at all. So if anything, I feel like you're realizing this too, Aries, that this person that you're with, no. If anything, they're putting too much pressure on you and you could be walking on eggshells because of how they are. They definitely are hiding something here with the Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups. There's definitely a secret romance that I'm seeing here. You have no idea. You may have your suspicions though, but I do feel though, Aries, you kind of like saw it coming. So what you're going to do, yeah, you're going to go on an adventure. You're going to start really thinking about yourself. You're going to have the strength to literally do anything that you truly want to do. It's like following your heart's desires. If anything, I don't feel this person, this person doesn't deserve you. 
because I know you went in there with the best intentions into this relationship, with the best intentions, but at the same time, you're like, why am I beating myself over the stress, the anxiety? What am I getting out of this relationship? That's what you should be asking. What are you getting out of this relationship? If anything, you could definitely see that you're, I'll tell you what you're getting out of it, stress, blaming yourself, feeling that you're, this is your fault, that you're in prison, that you can't do anything. Absolutely not. You can definitely free yourself from this situation, Aries. If you're not happy, if you're not feeling truly happy, no. Because remember, at the end of the day, Aries, you deserve happiness. You deserve happiness and to feel love and to feel passion. You do. But I just feel that there's someone better waiting for you with the lovers. Someone that's going to protect you, create a roof over your head. Someone that's just magical, beautiful. Thank you so much, Aries, for joining me. Power to you and I wish you a wonderful day.